good morning. It may be cold, wet, pretty nappy. And no, that's not a description of Ben's new baby's last nappy. <laughs> uh, My nappy? No, your nappy, goodness. It is, in fact, today's hideous weather forecast. So there isn't actually any better excuse to dive straight back under the duvet, keep warm and snuggle up to us for the next 40 minutes of toasty showbiz news. I'm Jenny Faulkner, and the new daddy is in the house. Yep, he's had his full of sleepless nights yeah. following the birth <laughs> of baby number two. And now Benny Boy's back. It Thank you very much. Too. Yeah. I like him back. Yeah, it's lovely. Well, I've been away for two weeks and you can't stop talking, for heaven's sake. Should we get I've on with the show? My voice as a result. That's what it? it is. Okay, let's find out what's coming up on today's show. We've got a cracking lineup. Been a silent witness for Guru, and now he's about to reveal the truth about love. It's the one and only. It's the Jimmy Mystery. Morning, Jimmy. The one Morning. and only indeed. And as the mystery behind Tom King's murder grips the Yorkshire Dales, Emma Dale's Jamie Hope, aka Alex Carter, joins us to fill in, fill us in on the whodunit. Looking <laughs> forward to that. I sing it for his breakfast this morning. The fabulous Simon Webb, the sexiest head in pop. Uh, he's here with his latest tune, My Soul Pleads for You. Good to see you, Simon. And well, what can we say? He's on day release, so what else? would Richard Arnold want to do with himself at this time on a Friday? Well, then pop in here to reveal his top jelly tips. <laughs> and Carla was under the clock. Uh, which this week include a peek behind the scenes of the new series of Life on Mars and the Bad Mother's Handbook, which looks really great. Yep, and as always, we're still be sure with nuggets, including a very exclusive peek at Girls Alone, as we've never seen them before. It's Sam Michael. Morning, Michael. Morning. And over in Carla is in LA, seems to be joined by a very special guest this morning. Who's your friend, Carla? I, I'm joined by the lovely, glamorous and gorgeous Anna Friel, bitch yeah. alive. Been very eager to talk to us about gold too, and that's not all. This is the showbiz castle of the world, guys, and I got to spend the day with JT. Yep, I'm talking about Justin Timberlake, and he gave me an exclusive peek backstage on his world tour. We've also got some fabulous exclusive footage of his new video. That's all coming up. What a great show on Entertainment Today. <laughs> Now, just before we go back to LA to join Carla and Anna, here's Michael with the very latest on this morning's sad news about the death of Anna Nicole Smith. Well, thank you, guys. Yeah, the 39-year-old former Playboy centerfold, famous for marrying the 89-year-old oil billionaire J. Howard Marshall II, died yesterday in Florida. After her husband's death, she remained in the headlines as the bitterly fought out the details of the will with the Howard Marshall's family. Now, she died after collapsing at the Hard Rock Cafe Hotel and Casino in Fort Lauderdale in Florida. And police officer did confirm that Anna Cole's private nurse had phoned hotel reception, asking for emergency assistance, at which time her bodyguard then entered the room and administered CPR. However, less than an hour later, she was pronounced dead at the Memorial Regional Hospital. Now, this tragedy comes just five months after her son, Daniel Smith, who was 20, died of a suspected drug overdose, and just days after a judge ordered to submit her baby daughter, Danielle Lynn, to a DNA test. Now, this is in an effort to end the dispute over the biological father and who he is. Now, Anna claims it's now her widow, Stern, but her ex-boyfriend, Larry Birkenhead, says she's his. Well, there's lots of questions surrounding her death, and we do know that Anna's autopsy is expected to take place later today. Michael, thanks very much. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, indeed. Extraordinary. Tragic life and a very, very peculiar ending. Exactly. I'm sure we'll find out in due course. Now, at the top of the show, Carla revealed she has been joined today by one of your favourites. You're gutted she's not here, aren't I you? I can't believe it. What's she doing in LA? What's I know. with us? And a thrill. So let's go back to LA and join them now. Morning, guys. Morning. Morning. Hello, lovely oh. Jen and Ben. How are you doing, Anna? Baby. We miss you. What are you doing over there when you could be here with us? Because you'd rather be here with me, right? Oh, I'm, I'm searching Beckham. I've made two movies with him and still haven't met him, so I thought if I come to LA, I've got a bit of chance. <laughs> Everybody's desperate to meet David Beckham over here. But this is why we're here, because we're talking about goal two. Mm -hmm. um, I loved the first one. I really did absolutely love it. And we saw your character, Roz, get together with the really dishy Santiago played by Tino Becker. Mm -hmm. What happens in the second one? Well, uh, he becomes a little uh, worse for wear and behaves very badly and fame goes to his head. With and other uh, ladies? Yes, and mm. leaves poor old Ros in rainy old Newcastle whilst he's um, sunning himself in lovely Madrid. So Real Madrid, that's where he goes to play. He yes. moves on. Yeah, he moves on because um, he was playing for Newcastle United at the end of the first movie. And then the second one, we see him um, become one of the main team members of Real Madrid. Okay, and while he's doing that, and he's um, out with the boys, drinking and out with the ladies, but he's still playing out with your character, you're still stuck in Newcastle. Yes, working very hard at being the nurse. In the hospital. Let's take a look at Anna yeah. in action, shall we? You're not going to believe what I just bought for us. Go on. Get. Come on. I don't know, son. Come on, come on. I'm not really in the mood for games. Lamborghini, white, convertible, spider, different class. 
Ross. Lester I has died this morning. I was gonna phone you just to have someone to talk to, but I didn't want to bring you down. Sorry, baby. I've got to go. Bless you. Oh, we've got to lift the mood up. There's a lot of death today. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit happy. I love well. that Newcastle accent. You pull it off really well. Did you have to work quite hard at that? I that did, it, it's always been one of my favourite accents. I think it's really endearing and bubbly and and a very happy accent. I love it. No, you do it very well. So listen, so what happens between the two of you then? Is is it the fact that, you know, is the heart goes stronger because it's distance or does it cool well, off Well, you'd think bit? so, but I think his eye is taken by um, another female. Really? During, during the middle, yes. But I think he, uh, he realises the errors of his ways as the film develops. He is so sweet. He though, is, he's lovely. And his football got, got better. The lovely <laughs> Alessandro's back. He, he, he's he's, he's the, gr the great comedy turn in, in the film. He's wonderful. And let's talk, let's talk a little bit about David Beckham now. Mm -hmm. He is in this the second he one, is. and but you never got to meet no, him. No, he's at always. The, we did the press junket the other day, and it's always the question. So, have you met David Beckham? <laughs> and I said, no, I didn't. I met uh, two of the Real Madrid people, but no Raúl and no Zidane, which are all my football fan friends. So, how are you going to get to meet David then? Because I know you're uh, desperate to. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go and. I don't know, track him down like some awful stalker. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I don't, I'm not. I'm not the biggest football fan, as you know. No, no you're not, are you? No. Offside rule. What's the offside rule? Right? The offside. Oh God, this is the hardest one. Pass to a forward player and not ahead of um, a defender. Okay. Can I just say that um, Anna's husband, David <laughs> Eulis, is just outside, and I could just hear him going. So the offside rule is. No, you didn't tell me what it was because I got it right in the in the in the last in the last quiz last year, and I've forgotten again. I don't think any girl knows what the outside outside rule. So listen, it's out today um, in the UK. Are you quite excited? Because I mean, you're churning them out because I know that Goal 3 is, is that's, currently that's, that's being filmed. Um, they've just started shooting um, the, some of the, the, the footage from the World Cup, so that can be included, but principal photography doesn't start for another few months. Are you excited about doing the third one? Yeah, I've not seen the script yet, but I think but I'm, I've got quite a lot more play at the minute. So Yeah, you have, because little baby, just, yeah. just before we I know, if I sound, If I'm not as coherent as normal and not as bubbly as normal, I'm so jet lagged. I've had about six hours sleep in about 40 hours. Not to be a big miserable complainer, but... But with Gracie, and she did her first flight. It was flight. her first flight over the Atlantic, and she... Um, happily kept me awake and had uh, an hour's sleep on a 12-hour journey. Oh. So I'm a little bit like, good Anna, morning. Thank you so everybody. much for coming in. I'm jet lagged, exhausted, oh, well, but she still me. made time. Thank so listen, you. goal two is out tonight in Britain. Go and see it. I thought the first one was great. Look at the, like the rocky of the football world. It is. So if you want to be uplifted, get to cinema tonight. Anna, thank you so oh, much. Thanks oh, thanks so much. Thank you. Oh. Don't, get, don't get Ben excited, please. Hold on, she's never kissed me at the end of the interview. I know. That's because you haven't paid her enough, that's it. Oh, really? Yeah. It's all I about tell the you money. What, if, if Anna's jet lagged, she looks pretty good on it, doesn't she? She's looking all right. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, <laughs> competition time now. If you won the competition, you could Oh, then I could have afforded see, it. So you could win £10,000 and a fantastic home entertainment system. <laughs> GMTV is giving you the chance to win £10,000 in our BAFTA competition. Yeah, that's £10,000 to spend on whatever you like. But not only that, you could also win a 42-inch high-definition ready plasma screen and recordable DVD player. If you want to be in with a chance of winning, here is the question you need to answer. In which detective series does Dame Helen Mirren star? Is it A, The Bill, B, Prime Suspect, or C, Cracker? You can dial 09068 100 100. Yes, that's 09068 100 100. Or you can text A, B or C as your answer, plus your full name and address to 81149. You can also enter on our website, either online or on your mobile. Okay, those lines will close at 9 o'clock. We'll be able to win it at the end of the show. We will indeed. Now, he's lost his sister. His <coughs> mum has run off to Morocco. And now, can you believe it? He's a main suspect in the Tom King murder investigation. It's all happening in the deals, isn't it? Especially like it for you, Jamie Hope, or yeah. Alex Carter. And he's here to join, talk about the latest twists and turns. You've had a quite an exciting year. It's all gone wrong. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's been quite dull, really, to be honest. My sister died and all that. It's been quite sort of serious stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's all fun and games. Just really. in case job, anybody might not know, they've been somewhere like, I don't know, L.A., and they have missed it. Just fill us in on what the situation is at the moment. 
There's been a big murder in Emmerdale and right. there's ten suspects in the film. Like, yeah, yeah, they filmed ten endings so no one knows. Including Have us. they really filmed ten yes. endings? Is this Emmerdale talk yeah. so we don't find no, it? No, it's true. Mine so was, mine's probably the worst as well because it was last in the day and they only had about ten minutes to film it. So does that mean you didn't <laughs> do it then? I hope I didn't because it's going to look awful <laughs> if I did. Like, yeah. So it was a hammer? A hammer yeah. on the No, head. it wasn't. No, it was a statue or something. I don't know. A it statue might fell on him? No, no. Someone, so someone yeah. grabbed it and... When you sat, so when you sat down with them and they said, right, your character's going to be one of the ten suspects, so you're going to have to film uh, the murder. Yeah. Did you say, right, what have the other people got? Someone's got to like an explosion or a shooting, and you, you, you got. No, to it's all, all the same. Uh, obviously, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, so right. all it's all like in together. cards. Okay, I'll do it with a candlestick. No. You do it with a dagger. No, no, it's all the same because otherwise it wouldn't make sense, would oh, it? Fine. Think about it. So they're going to have a flashback. <laughs> they're they going to say they filmed <laughs> ten endings. I'd give it away, wouldn't it? Why does that make sense? Because then we'd know, wouldn't we, how we die? Well, no, but it wouldn't necessarily be died in ten different ways. It was me. It'd be great. Yeah, I suppose it would have made more sense in a way. <laughs> are they going to have a flashback then? So in a, in a week or two weeks or whenever, are they going to go, this is what happened? I, I'd assume so, yeah, maybe that's what they I, I genuinely don't know. I didn't even know it was going to be a murder. It was mentioned loosely at a party <laughs> so to me by the producer, yeah. And that was it. Random oh, party. Yeah, Does that yeah. mean alcohol involved at this party? Uh, I, I, I can't say that. Was that was Shouldn't you have been me, mate, though? No. You what? Shouldn't have said that on telly. I've just regretted that. <laughs> Never mind, carry on. <laughs> she glossed over. <laughs> yeah, please. So but the situation at the moment is the walls are closing in on you. Uh, yeah, next week. Everything's falling apart. Yeah. And, and for the character, it looks like he, he... I mean, he's getting blackmailed as well, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I know that's got thrown in the mix. I think that, that makes me look a bit more guilty as well, how I react so badly to uh, you know, being framed. He's getting very suspicious. I think yeah. we've got a little clip we of him putting a finger. Oh. So can I have £300, please? What? Well, I think you should help me out. Seeing as it's winter, there's not much call for ice cream, and this is all your fault. I'm so sorry. Well, do something. Someone out there is going to start talking to the police. No, they won't. No, they won't. Not if I pay them. Jamie, this, this can't be for real. No, and blackmailers always come back. Oh, or is this how you get people to give you a story? You, you promise you'll leave them when they cough up and then you sneak around for some more? Oh, don't be so stupid. I'm not the one who lost the camera with the pictures of me legging it from home farm. Ooh. That's it, it is right there. Now, I've got to say, you have had a little bit of uh, absence of love life in the show so far. I know. Is this, is this you and Jasmine, maybe something? No, no not, not a sausage, perhaps not the right phrase to use. <laughs> Nothing. You want to get to a few more of those parties with the producers, supplying them with a bit more booze. It'd be nice, I know, because someone said to me, you know, you're meant to be hunky. I thought, well, I've not even had a kiss. I've been there a year. You're meant to be hunky? Yeah, well, I know. And not that I was no, thank you. Don't send up the question mark at the end of it. Us. But you said... But Linda Lusardi's joining. <laughs> yeah. Out there would well, be a turn up for the books. Imagine. She's a bit before my time without being too rude. Huh? I think you have been. Well, I think that's exactly what no, you are. No, no, I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? I didn't really know her. Any part in a storm and all that. You never know. So, yeah. But no, you know what I mean. You, you must have done the murder. Yeah. It's the only possible no, no. answer. It's the only possible I think, answer. I think if you haven't done the murder, by the time you get back, the scripts will have changed and you will have done I'm it. I'm writing it for a month anyway. I'm on holiday. I'm fine. Uh, Alex, unfortunately, we're out of time. It's great to have you with us. But Good luck. Know, let's, Thank get you. It, let's get our money's worth out of you. And like, as, as you are here, put your foot in it. Let's let you link into the Yeah, play. you're the announcer oh, at Oldham Football Club. I'm not. You've been misinformed. Oh, but that's yeah, a great rumour. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, sorry. We'll do, you're going to do it anyway, so you can get this bit right. Still to come on this morning's evening. T, acting ace in your mystery, music maestro Simon Webb, and oh, I've been told to slow down, yeah, no, and Carla Romano with Justin Timberlake. See you after the break. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pro. Writer, actor and funny man Simon Pegg reveals why he's become the world's most unlikely action hero. Tuesday on GMTV. Welcome back. We have loads more still to come. Jimmy Mysteries here, Justin Timberlake and Simon Webb. First of all, though, Michael's here with the rest of this morning's hot showbiz news. Hot showbiz. Well, I've done this week. We've got a couple of exclusives. Not if you a great do say deal so of yourself. Yeah. Well, we'll be the judge of that. I'm going to promote myself. Why okay. not? Bring <laughs> it up. This, you're using up my time. I've got no so time today. Come on, let me get on with it. Here's exclusive number one for you. Take a look. Imagine when you're at school, your class looks like this. Okay, girls allowed. Lovely. We've got Gary Lineker, Billy Piper, that been Harry Hill. There's Russell Brand in the mix. Ooh. We've got Stephen oh. Fry. They're all there. 
these guys are all coming together, but what for? I can tell you, they're raising money for charity. They've got their uniforms on, and they've got those ridiculously large ears, as you can see, because they've joined up with the, a crisp company, we're going to call it, and Comic Relief, to produce the which one. walk ears. <laughs> now, they're the things they're wearing there, the walk ears. Uh, they're hoping to raise a million pounds, and this is the ad they're filming to promote them. Now, the great thing about this ad is, ooh, we may have seen a couple of pictures of it, I've managed to get an exclusive clip. This debuts tomorrow. You can see it first right now. Take Whoa. You are good. Oh, yeah. Cotton ear brand is a hill ear. Girls are loud. Louder. Ear. Mimica. Ear. Take off those ridiculous promotional ears. Sir, we'll not have such things in my classroom. No more football for you for the rest of term. Do you understand? Oh, Ta-da, Linux here. <laughs> it's good, it's good. Isn't George Lee touchy about that as well? Yeah. That's good for him. He is, he's going for it. Brilliant. Playing along. Well, it's for charity, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, also, if you want to find out more information about those ears, and if you'd like to win an exclusively signed Girls Aloud shirt, then all you need to do is log on to the gmc.tv website, or just text the word MOBILE to 81189. What are you saying? I'm running out of time A Girls still. Aloud school shirt that's been signed. Yeah, bonus. Whoa. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. Now, quickly, oh, one last exclusive, another exclusive for you, Scissor Sisters. Their brand new video. Here it is. Take a look. It's great. Now, you might have seen this something before. You see how they're wearing, so they're wearing the black trousers, and it's not really their legs. So it's all done in a really, really clever way. The Sid Sisters are, so they're kind of like puppets. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, these guys have been amazing. They've sold over a million copies of their second album, Tadar. Uh, they're touring at the moment. They're going to be back in the UK. They're doing two dates in London and in Manchester. And they've even actually had a TV debut in the States. Hold on, hold on. Just, so someone's moving their legs. They're actually the top no, of no, the No, no, it's their legs. It's their legs. Someone's it's their... Yeah, that's right. But someone's moving their legs. Yeah, so a puppeteer in black is moving their legs and moving the items. Now, this is obviously just a clip. If you get to see the whole video, it is just amazing, the stuff that they can do. That's it's great. Good. Very, very clever. Not the time on their hand. The first time you saw it right here. I'm out of time. There's so much more to tell you, but I can't. Uh, Spice Girls rumours? Spice Girls. Yeah, they met up for dinner a couple of days ago. Um, there was rumours that they're going to actually have Spice Girls the musical, perhaps, or maybe do a band reunion. No one knows. We're waiting to find out. But yes, Posh, Ginger and Baby all got together for dinner. So wow. maybe a good story of them. scary. I only need well, the other two. In LA, she's yeah. pregnant. Yeah, with okay. Eddie's baby. Well done. All right, thank you. Well okay. done to you. <laughs> and also, well done to Carla, because I hear that not only has Justin Timberlake given her a personal backstage tour, but Carla, you also got your hands on an exclusive clip of his new video. Well, kind of, Jenny. Get this. Justin is such a huge star, and his video is such massive business that he's now actually got a trailer for the video. Like, a movie trailer, it's unbelievable. I've never heard of anything like this before. And it is the trailer that has got people talking because it stars Scarlett Johansson, um, which some of the papers have speculated uh, that they are in a relationship together since he broke up with Cameron Diaz and uh, she has been linked with him quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. Now the trailer only features one shot of Scarlett, so it really does kind of tease us. It's for Justin's new song, What Goes Around, which is released on the 5th of March. Now, if you're a Justin fan, you won't have to wait long to hear him live because he's uh, going to be performing in the UK later this year, the moment he's here performing in the US. And I caught up with him in San Jose. Very nice chat. Hi, Entertainment Today. Here is your exclusive behind the scenes look at my future sex love show tour. Enjoy. Yeah. Okay, You're on tour, just started. What does it feel like to be back on the road again? <sighs> it's terrible. <laughs> it starts with a sigh. <laughs> no, it's, it's awesome. You're not going to get any complaints from me. Did you get nervous, Justin? I mean, just get excited, you know? I mean, you hope nothing's going to go wrong, but at the end of the day, I, I could still just sing a song. <laughs> you know, if all of these technical things start to go wrong, but yeah. It, it, it's, it's more excited than nervous, I think. My whole MO for this show was, was to try to turn uh, an arena into a club, mm -hmm. uh, to try to keep, keep the party going. Do you ever think, oh, are they still going to love me? What if, like, I don't... Do you, do you know what I mean? Does that ever cross your mind? I, you can't think like that. No, but do you ever think like that? Maybe, yeah, a little bit. I mean, you kind of like, you just hope that it goes well. It's a long time 
that you're on tour for? Do you take anything from home to kind of make you feel, you know, remind you of being at home? No, I like being on the road. Why? I mean, being on the road is being away from home, but you, you know, your little home away from home is the tour bus. You know, I have my little pictures of my dogs Aww. up on the tour bus and, and little things like that. Like, I kind of enjoy being in a new place. Yeah. You know, I like, I like, there's, there's so much excitement in that. Welcome to Wardrobe. This is one of Justin's favorite suits. It's made by Yves Saint Laurent. They've made us about eight custom three-piece suits. He changes once during the show, so he wears about two suits a night, and every night he kind of changes it up depending on how he's feeling. Well, the UK fans are very, very excited about you coming over to see them. What message would you have for them? I hope that I don't let you down. He said with the utmost sincerity. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, the show. You guys came all the way down. Actually, I live in LA, so I didn't really okay. come all the way down. <laughs> he was very, very funny and such lovely manner as well. I loved him, absolutely loved him. Now, listen, if you're a JT fan and you want to know if he's going to be playing near you, just log on to our website, gm.tv, or text the word mobile to 81189 and follow those instructions. I just in case you were wondering where Anna Friel's gone, she couldn't wait to just jump in our limo with our lovely husband, David Silas, go back to her hotel room, into her PJs and into bed. Bless her, very jet-lagged, but wasn't that lovely that she came in so late? I have to say, I was it very was. chuffed. Because it is like one in the morning over there where you are. Yeah. Well, and she's gone home thinking about you trying to snug her as well. Even better. Uh, <laughs> Carla, oh, thank in you your so dreams, much. Benjamin. <laughs> Carla, thanks very much. Look, we've got another guest. As if we didn't have enough on the show this morning, our guru from, uh, for ET. It's Jimmy Mystery. Morning, Jimmy. Great morning. to see you again. Great for having me. Thanks, well, thanks. I last saw you at the Blood Diamond premiere because um, mm. if you haven't seen that yet, Jimmy's in it. And if you have seen it, you might not recognise him because you were shaved the entire oh, movie. Yeah. Big, yeah. Huge aviators. That's a massive film that we talked loads about. We're not yeah. here yeah. to talk about that film. We're talking about uh, another film that's yeah. about to come yeah. out. The Truth About Love. The truth About Love. Romantic comedy. Completely different. Yeah. You know, yeah, that comes out next week. Um, it's a really nice, fun film, actually. Bit of sweet. Romantic comedy with an edge. Yeah. I like to say, you know, it's uh, set around Valentine's Day. Um, I'm Sam, a hotshot lawyer. My wife is, a is Alice, played by the... You've got, he will be so jealous when you tell Wonderful me. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and Dougray Scott plays my friend and, you know, a, a kind of barrister. And basically, uh, my wife sends me an anonymous Valentine's card to just to prove that I'm a, you know, have, I'm fidelity, I, I'm a, you know, a, a faithful man. And I would tell her all about it. Of course, I don't. She then has to kind of carry on this game and this pretense that she is playing this anonymous woman. I end up getting involved with my wife, not knowing. And what a wicked My best friend gets involved, it comes into a mess. Such a bad guy. Well, let's have a look at you. Carlo's wife, actress Miranda Campbell, is conspicuously absent today. Bristol's up-and-coming libel lawyer, Sam Holbrook, has taken the case, but with the story backed by numerous photographs, observers here are questioning the wisdom of bringing this case to court in the first place. Oh. Oh, gotta run. Bye, darling. Dude, that's Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, that's you know, fan. acting. <laughs> that's really stupid. Yeah, but oh, then, no. then Dougray Scott's got a big crush on her in the film. Yeah, it? it all gets very confusing. I mean, she's like, you know, in the middle of these two, you know, guys, me and Dougray, and um, depends who, who wins at the end of the day, you'll have to see. And, and one of the, the, the sort of the storyline from the hotshot lawyer point of view is centred around a football, footballer that's been taken to the tabloids. And he's Played sitting by over and there. He's sitting over this there. guy over here. Web. I know, if he can't, I mean, if he sings, it's, you know, it's good enough. He acts as well. For I mean, sake. Right. Right. He, he tries. He did all right, yeah. but, but we've been talking about this for ages. Where you, when did you actually make this? I came part? down to the set to visit you, you as well. And it was a couple of years yeah. ago. I mean, Do you know the biggest, the biggest surprise I got when I turned up. Paul Robinson was there. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, joke. No, it's absolutely serious. Stefan Dennis Stephen is actually Dennis. one of the producers of the film, and he has quite a lot of, you know, a little cameo in it. You know, everyone who was bizarre. anyone is in this film. Carl yeah. from the Flash advert. <laughs> Carl Hellman, yeah, yeah. Brush strokes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Emma, Emma, Emma Noble. Emma Noble. Pops up. Emma Noble. Pops up. Wow. Yeah. How come you didn't get a part? Well, you know, I hadn't turned to acting then. At that point. <laughs> you have now. Oh, yeah. All <laughs> oh, right, okay, that's cool. And you've just done a film with Neve Campbell, is that right? That's so? right, yes, uh, uh, called Partition. It just opened in Canada. I've just been out there promoting it. It's set in the Partition of Pakistan in India, 47. Historical epic, romantic hero with Neve Campbell and Kristen Kruick from Smallville, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a really lovely actress, really lovely girl. So that was that was good fun. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Are you still DJing and stuff like that? Last time I saw you, you said you were organising like DJing. Yeah, that's all happening. That's all on you know. It's my other life. It's my other life, boys. You know. <laughs> Jimmy, it's great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much for coming. coming. Always a pleasure cool. when we get to chat. Sadly, yeah, we are short for time. We have yeah. to take a break now, but still to come, Simon Webb performing his new single, and Richard Arnold with his exclusive behind the scenes of next week's big TV dramas, Life on Mars and Bad Mother's <laughs> Handbook. That's my favourite of your side. <laughs> Hello, love. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Mm. There's a place I've never been, a place I long to be. Will I reach? I just don't know. Still, I hope one day I'll go. Yeah. My wish just never seemed to come. Yeah. And I know for certain you're the one. Yeah. So close I can still no cigar carrying my wounded heart yeah 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 babe. i can't no i can't i can't stop the rain from falling down on me no no i know i'm not what you want hey. i'm hoping in time you see how my soul bleeds for you Every time you meet someone, and you both just click in a minute. Well, maybe it's the eye contact, smile like that, click, click, and you're on it. I can't stop calling you, I don't know what to do. Well, maybe you're making me break down all of my rules, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't stop the rivers from running, I can't stop the rivers from running, yeah. Well done. How about that? Very nice indeed. Let's not mess about. That was singing absolutely live. That was. Fair play. Let's Simon Webb, there you go. I'm not messing about. Uh, my soul, please, for you. That's released on the 12th of February. Thank you very much, Thank guys. You. Thanks, Simon. Very, Great very to see you. Thank you very much indeed for that. Um, and Simon, by the way, will be doing a web chat live at 9.30 this morning. So to ask him a question, anything? Anything? OK, anything. <laughs> just head to the website. That's gm.tv online. And now on your mobile, by the way, just text the word mobile to 81189 and follow the instructions, M-O-B-I-L-E.
Richard. Well done, yes, spell it right. <laughs> uh, now then, a couple of minutes, TV's going to be here, TV's Richard's going to be here revealing where to point your remote over the next seven days. First though, here's his guide to the new series of Life on Mars. Hi, I'm Dean Andrews, a.k.a. DS Ray Carling on Life on Mars. Welcome to 1973. They may not look like they're on Mars, but they're definitely back in the 1970s. So, will D.I. Sam Tyler and Gov. Gene Hunt ever see eye to eye? Our relationship just carries on where it left off at the end of the last series. It's, um, it's, 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 it's more of the same. It's more of the same. And, you know, it's, which is a good thing because it was... Uh, very much in love with each other, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, very much. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a good outfit. I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready to finish that. Oh, it's this car. My motor. I hate it. It's quite heavy, and especially when it's hot. I mean, during when, back in July when we had the heat wave, the engine kept overheating, it kept stalling, and made me look very uncool. And what did the fly-collared lads make of the huge success of the first series? There was a lot of hype about it, which is always slightly worrying because you know. Um, there's always that danger that the public won't take to it and build something up. But fortunately, um, they seem to buy it, which is great. And will the fans find out more about the Far Out plot during this series? Well, there's a clue in the, uh, the thing that he says at the beginning. He says it's like he's landed on a different planet. I the writers so. just like David Bowie. We know it's going to end, and we've already filmed the ending. Yet. I'm not going to say anything about it. I can't, it. I can't not to say seal. anything about it. But it's, um, I have to tune in and watch the whole series. It's pretty exciting, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking stuff, so there you have it. Life on Mars, and we've just been sharing some showbiz tittle-tattle, oh, have we yes, not, we Jenny? Know all the news. We know all the news. Uh, top telly moments at the BBC have come up with a wise idea of putting Philip Glenster, casting him in Life on Mars, the sequel, if you like, for yeah, want of a better it's expression. Different name. Different name. Set in the 80s. Set in the 80s, so oh. think Miami Vice rather than the Sweeney. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Our decade at last, Ben. It's going to make it. We've gone the Kipper Nearly, time. Like Nearly yours. Nearly mine. Happy for that. 90s have hit that. me. That would be much better. <laughs> <laughs> Must see TV this week. We're going to kick off with that Captain Tate's latest vehicle, and it's a corker. It's the Bad Mother's Handbook. Now, it's based on the book by Kate Long, which clearly isn't a tome about how to be a bad mother. It basically tells you all about the perils of motherhood. Three generations of women, one of whom is played by Anne Reid, who we love. All rise for Anne Reid. 40 awesome. years in the yeah. business. Begone Valerie Barlow. We know her from Booze Cruise, of course, the original and Bleak Robin House. Hood. The original Robin Hood. Well, got, you've been watching UK Gold, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. she's fantastic. Original Doctor Who. Well. She's wonderful in this. She plays the grandmother. We've got Catherine Tate squeezed in the middle uh, of the uh, generations, and the lovely um, Holly, Granger. Holly Granger, who plays the daughter, who's got a bombshell of the family when she announces at 17 that she's pregnant. Catherine Tate thrilled to be working with Anne Reid, and apparently the feeling is mutual. I just think she's exceptionally talented, and uh, and it was a great joy, you know, to, to know that I was going. I'm loving working with her. And obviously the perils of motherhood uh, ring through to Catherine, of course, because she's got a young daughter in real life, and mm. she's terrified about facing the perils of pubescence with her. Here you go. One day she's going to want to leave home, and that's really difficult. I find that really difficult. I think she might... What if she wants to kind of move out of the street we live in? <laughs> that's just, like, awful. Wait for her to break into character every time, Tony. But Holly... you know that by the end of puberty, she'll be like, that, get out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah, you're right. Right. Yeah. Pregnant? I don't care. Have a letter. Just get out of my house. Um, bothered, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Holly Granger combined not only beauty with brain, she's actually studying a degree as well as doing a little bit of acting on the side. She do. They've yeah. got it all this young Acting's generation. Acting's her pub job. There you go. <laughs> um, it's where it seems to be working okay. I get um, time off in between scenes to read my books, but I'm doing English, so it, most of it's just reading novels and reading essays at the moment. Right, and do my essays at weekends. Oh, it's easy. Oh, it's easy, oh, it's yeah. Easy. <laughs> uh, not as easy as it looks. Take a look at the acting, it's cracking. Here we go. They do. Yeah, it. It's great they do, stuff. Don't they? they do, don't they? They do. Cedric Diggory from um, Harry Potter in it as well. Cedric Diggory. Diggory. Fabulous. Um, Hotel Babylon's back. <laughs> yes, breaking news just <laughs> in. Brilliant. The hotel is open for business. This was my kitsch classic from and you last can get it in year. High definition as well. You can get it in HD now. And I have to say, the hotel set is <laughs> oh, fantastic. They've rejigged it, revamped it. Got about five million bums on seats last year. Much the same this year. Dexter Fletcher's back, of course. Tamsin Albert as Rebecca. And we've got Max Beasley, who took a bullet in the uh, season finale last time. But he's back on fine form. Guest stars include Little Mo, and she's playing. Well, not so much the Devil Wears Prada as the Devil Wears Primark. She plays a magazine <laughs> editor. <laughs> so far, uh, you've got all of that and more to I look forward Chantel to. Chantel turns up in there. Yeah. I think Chris Moyles is in there somewhere. I would love a cameo on this. I would love a cameo. <laughs> yeah. We would all love a cameo. <laughs> Wouldn't we, though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, They're all thank in you it. very much. You're more than welcome. Okay, okay, right. Right. No, that's it for today's show. Before we say goodbye, the winner of this morning's competition has to be announced. Earlier, we did ask you in which detective series does Dame Helen Mirren star? And the answer is, of course, 
strange suspect. Yeah, the winner has been selected at random from all the correct entries. His name is on the screen. Congratulations to Shoned Roberts from Denbyshire. Oh, there you go. Whoa, Jenny, you're celebrating your 40th birthday on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were cake. Health and safety wouldn't let me bring a knife, so we have to tear at it with or a bear. Or candles. <laughs> <laughs> or candles. So dig in, everyone, dig in. Just shove it at your face. I mean, there you go. Oh, how many, how many, how many are you going to be? Do you make that? Um, I'm going to be 31. 31, come on. I'm still the youngest on the show. Can I just read it? Yeah, all right, thanks for that. <laughs> 20 years between us, isn't Thank it? Thank you, guys. Everyone have a lovely weekend. Thank you. And have a nice Valentine's Day. Yeah, we're going to be back next week with more of the same. Have a great weekend. See you then. Ah! <laughs>